Hi guys, it's Gus and Ezekiel here. Uh, we wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. And today we want to talk about camels. You like camels? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> who doesn't like camels? And so, uh, I think we're going to title this Christmas Gifts, Camels and the Holy Spirit. And uh, camels in the Bible are very interesting because they bring... Um, Riches like gold and incense and myrrh, and um, we see camels a lot in the Bible. And every time we see camels, they're like going from one place to another, uh, and they're just like pretty much like if you have a, a, a train of camels, it would be like a cargo train. They all carry a load, and so the word camel comes from from the Hebrew word gamo, uh, and then um, that is also the third letter of the Hebrew alphabet. So you got uh, you know, Alpha, Beth, and Gamma, which is the third letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And it's interesting because the third letter of the Hebrew alphabet is um, the Gamma, and it kind of gives us a revelation that the third person of the Holy is the Holy Spirit, and the third letter of the alphabet in Hebrew is also the Holy Spirit. And so when we see Gamos or Camels in the Bible, uh, we can think of them as the Holy Spirit. And so... You know, the Holy Spirit brings us so many gifts, and in this Christmas season, I am waiting to receive gifts from the Holy Spirit like no other time ever. Like, I know the Holy Spirit is bringing gifts, and when you get a gift from someone, it's not just, uh, you know, to make you feel good. Somebody is actually investing into you. Somebody, they don't just want to make you feel good, they're investing something into you. So, like, for example, if Ezekiel gets... Let's say if you get a video camera, what are you going to do with that? Record. Record. So, so it's not just a gift, it's an investment because then he uses that video camera to record some videos and there's a lot of things that he can do with it. And so the Bible declares in Isaiah 60 verse 6, Herds of camels will cover your land, young camels of Midian and Ephah, and all from Shiva will come bearing gold and incense and proclaiming the phrase of the Lord. Now there's a word here that I want to touch is the, call, is the word in, infusion. Now infusion is like uh, when, when you just get all the chemicals out of a substance and you drink it. So like if a tea, if you, if you drink a tea, you dip it in water, it's infused and then all the chemicals of the tea are in the water and then you drink the water and now you have everything that was in the tea inside you. Well, that's how the Holy Spirit works. He delivers everything that he has from himself. And all you got to do is take it in or drink it or bring it in. So it's an infusion. So the gifts of the Spirit are infused into us. They are given into us for us to take in. And so when the Bible declares that herds of camels are coming to you and they are bringing, you know, gold and incense, it is a gift from the Holy Spirit that are coming on camels and so we see different scriptures in the Bible that are related to camels and we go to Genesis 24 10 and it says then the servant left taking with him 10 of his master's camels loaded with all kinds of good things from his master he set out for Aram Naharaim and made his way to the town of Nahor now you see right here that Abraham's servant is sent to look for a wife for Isaac and so he grabs 10 camels and he loads them with gifts and he goes over to look for Isaac's wife. Genesis 24, 53 says, Then the servant brought out gold and silver and jewelry and articles of clothing and gave them to Rebekah. He also gave costly gifts to her brother and her mother. So you see here, Abraham's servant goes out with loads of camels and he has gifts, gold, silver, jewelry, clothes, all kinds of stuff. Well, it's the same thing in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us these gifts, and what He's doing is He's investing in us. He is giving us these gifts so that we can use them for a special purpose that He has for us. Now look, Genesis twenty four sixty three says, He went out to the field, this is Isaac, He went out to the field one evening to meditate, and as He looked up, He saw camels approaching. And guess who was on those camels? Rebecca, say Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca was in those camels, and so Isaac receives all this joy because here comes Rebecca 
on camels. And so we see how gifts always come on camels. Uh, next scripture, it says, 1 Kings 10 to Arriving at Jerusalem with a very great caravan with camels carrying spices, large quantities of gold and precious stones, she came to Solomon and talked with him about all that she had on her mind. And so the Queen of Sheba comes to see Solomon and she comes with camels and she has all these gifts for Solomon and all she wants to do is Pick on Solomon's brain. Like there is something about Solomon. All, she heard about all the wisdom that, that Solomon had. And there is an exchange. She brings things on camels. And she receives the mind of Solomon. And, and this is an exchange. So we see like camels are used like in trade. You know every time you see camels there is a trade. There is an exchange. And so in, in the spirit we have the same thing. The, the Lord sends camels to us with many gifts. So in many ways, since we already talked about the third letter of the alphabet being gamo, which means camel, and it is revealed to us that it's the Holy Spirit, the third person of the, of, of the Trinity. And so we see that God is sending many gifts. Now, you know, in the scriptures we have many scriptures about camels, but one very interesting one is about John the Baptist. So John the Baptist came before Jesus. He came baptizing in water for repentance. And he was dressed in camel clothes. So he was a prophet that would wear camel clothes. And he would eat curds and honey. Now, there's a lot to learn about the honey and the curds. And if you haven't seen our video about the honey, go back and search for our video about honey. And, and you'll see everything that the honey has to do with the word. But, um, so John, John the Baptist was dressed in camel. And he came in the power of Elijah, who was another prophet. Who also used to dress skin clothes. And I believe it was also coming clothes. Because John the Baptist came in the power of Elijah. So, so we see the prophets wearing camel clothing. And so they have a prophetic word. And this prophetic word is from the spirit. And so the spirit gives these gifts. So it's interesting that when the wise men came to see Jesus when he was born. They brought gifts. And the gifts, they say, was gold, incense, and myrrh. Now, we don't know how many wise men they were. And the Bible doesn't say what they were riding on. But I'm pretty sure it was camels. Because there is a revelation about gold, incense, and myrrh coming on camels. And so, God is good. I, I believe that God, in this season, wants to give you gifts. But He doesn't just want to give you a gift so that you can just feel good. Or so that you can enjoy it. God is a God who reaps where he sows, right? He reaps where he sows. So when he gives something, it's an investment, right? He, he is investing into you. Salvation is by grace. Praise God, Jesus died on the cross for our salvation. The spiritual gifts are for us so that we can receive power to fulfill the purpose of the Lord. And so the Bible says that we shall receive power and we shall be his witnesses to all the nations and to the ends of the world. So I believe God wants to give you more than just gifts. I believe that he wants to give you the spiritual gifts. And he reveals it to us by the life of the camel. The camel brought Isaac, his wife. You know, Rebecca came on a camel. And I believe that when we meet the Lord in the clouds, the spirit is taking us. And so we will be like being lifted by a camel to meet the Lord. So there's a revelation when Rebecca sees Isaac. And there's a revelation when the church will meet Jesus. We will be taken up by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will present us as a gift to the Master. So that's amazing. Uh, God is so good. So today we want to pray. We want to pray that you open your heart and you receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now it's wonderful and great to receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, you can have the gift of tongues, you can have the gift of prophecy, you can even have the gift of giving, you know. Uh, my wife, for example, she has the gift of giving. She just loves to give. That's her gift. Um, one of the reasons why I fell in love with her was because she would give me things. And uh, she was sowing into me, you know. It's, it's an investment. And so I remember she would say, if you're going to teach the word, you don't have to look the way you look. You got to look a little better. So she would buy me clothes. And so she invested into me. 
And so that's that's what gifts are. Um, they are investments, you know. You 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 will reap what you sow. And so let's pray. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory and honor. Thank you for Ezekiel. Thank you for all the kids at Faith Child. Thank you for all the kids uh, that are waiting for a gift this Christmas. And I believe that you are sending gifts this season. You are sending gifts on camels. They are coming by the Holy Spirit. They are not just gifts for our enjoyment. They are infused with your presence. They are infused with your glory. They are infused with your word. They are infused with your gold, with your mirror, with your incense. We thank you, Lord, for the gifts. Just like when the wise men came to Jesus and they opened up their coffins and brought out the gold and the mirror and the incense. I believe, Lord, that in the same way we can open up our hearts and give you gifts as well. A gift of praise and a gift of thankfulness and a gift of just being with you, our love for you, Lord. And we receive your gifts. We receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I declare in the name of Jesus that everyone watching this video right now is receiving something from the Holy Spirit. And I see somebody receiving the gift of tongues. And I see somebody receiving a gift of prophecy. And I, I see someone even receiving the gift of giving. God is going to use you to give because God gave first. He gave, he gave us his son so that he can die on a cross so that we can have life forever. God is a giving God. He loves to give. He invests. He expects a return. He is wonderful. Jesus died on the cross and the church is coming as a return. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory. I see people receiving gifts of healing. Thank you, Lord, for the gifts of healing. Thank you, Lord, for your wonderful gifts of the Spirit. Gifts of knowledge. Thank you, my Father, for the Spirit of knowledge. Oh, Lord, God Almighty, we just give you glory and praise. Thank you, Lord, because we know that you want to give kids to your children. We bless you, Lord. We give you glory and honor. We praise you, Jesus. We give you glory. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful Christmas. The camels are coming and they are bringing gifts. Gifts from the Spirit for everybody who is wanting them and desiring them. Lord, we want them. We ask for them. We receive them. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is Gus and Ezekiel Resinos. And we'll see you next time on our next video. Bye. 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 Oh,